Hey guys, so uh, time for embarrassing story number two. This one's actually about my youngest sister on my mom's side of the family, uh, Lexi. She's seven years old now. So it, she's about three years old. She's at that age where she starts walking, she starts doing stuff, she's talking and stuff like that. But you know, she's, she's a bit of a crier. She's pretty sensitive. So we're getting ready for her birthday. And you know how you like had the like the actual surprise birthday where you didn't know it was coming? So you would come and you'd be like, oh my god, this is so awesome. I totally want cake now. I want to play games with my friends. Like all that stuff. I was living in Warren Township and I was living with my mom and my two other sisters, Jennifer and Rayleigh. Jennifer being the eldest and uh, Rayleigh being uh, younger than me. Um, so we're getting ready for her birthday. Everyone's crowded in uh, this basement. The basement was really cool because there's like this big TV, an awesome couch, a freaking pool table. We have this awesome setup thing that you can like pop open the pop it open and there's a bunch of toys in there. We had like a poker table. It was pretty pretty badass. I, I enjoyed it uh, a lot. It was really cool. Uh, oh yeah, there's a foosball table too, but we don't really use that that often. Um, so we had all that down there. We're getting ready for a birthday down there in the, in the basement. And we have like all of me and Rayleigh's friends because Lexi really doesn't have friends at that time. She's like three years old, so she hasn't really done preschool or anything like that. But she had like, she had met most of our friends by then, so she, they're like friends with her too, in, in a sense. So, we get ready for a party, we have all like the stuff set up, the happy birthday, Lexi, and stuff like that, and we're working stuff out, and uh, my mom's just like, okay, she's here, her, uh, her papa came, her papa's her, her grandma, her papa's here, we're gonna have her come downstairs, and when she comes in, say surprise, okay? So, everyone gets ready, the lights are off, and she doesn't like it when it's dark, so she of course, like, she comes in, turns around, we're like, surprise! And she, like, freaks out. And I'm just sitting here going, like, oh my god, she's crying. No! So, like, I give her a balloon, she's just like, ah, it's a monster! And I'm just like, it's not a monster, it's a balloon! And she, like, pops it! But at this point, I'm just sitting here going, like, jeez, she was really scared. I mean, like, three years old, a bunch of people saying surprise kind of scares you. But it also makes you really happy if it's just for your birthday. But she was just like, oh my god! And she starts bawling. And she's... She was pretty uptight during that party, too. I'm not gonna lie. You know how, like, most, like, babies, they, like, like claw into their cake? Because they give them the whole cake and, like, allow them to just, like, eat it from, like, a plastic thing or whatever. She's like, I want a plate, I want a fork, and I want to be civilized about this, basically. She doesn't, like, say that, but she... She's just like, I'm not going to eat it with my hands. Because she kept looking at everybody going, like, do I get a plate and, like, a fork, please? Like, she just look, kept looking. She's like, I kind of want a fork and a plate. So, yeah. There's my story. It has this brief thing about balloons, but balloons are involved. Yay. Okay. So, that's one of, that's two embarrassing stories to brighten your day a little bit. Um... Say about that. Bye.